Gannon, I won't talk to you if you don't do any lapel guard. Lapel guard with this thing? He's clicking his tongue. That's like his, his like, that's, he's like predator. <laughs> <laughs> Alright everyone, it's another beautiful day here in sunny San Diego. You stay classy, San Diego. We're at the Legion Academy again. Today, we're making uh, Andres' triumphant reveal on the channel. From what I understand, I wasn't there for this, but apparently he took over my YouTube channel for the day. Andres is a very interesting character. I've known him for 10 years, over 10 years, actually closer to like 13 or 15. Normal lies! We were white belts together, and he's always been sort of my jujitsu philosophical philosophy slash science, scientist counterpart. That's the only way to describe it. You're laughing, Chance, but that's true. We, him and I together have created some very, very great lapel systems and various systems we've been brainstorming he's like him and i are almost the the, the same when it comes to how we think about jujitsu so you guys are in for a treat check it out oh i see that you're looking at our new clock you might be wondering how we got this excellent legion customized clock we got it from none other than our black belt paulo who um, innovated this amazing technology and he took us out of the dark age of using youtube as a timer which doesn't work when we don't have wi-fi and it's just a big mess sometimes this is a uh, one of the greatest things that's happened to this academy, and it's thanks to one of our great members. <laughs> yes. Right now we're doing some drilling. This is really important. This isn't cookie cutter drilling. I feel a lot of classes, it's just, you have to do this drill, this drill, and this drill. What I'm doing is I'm giving people a structure that they can kind of mold their game to. So what they're doing is they're entering into whatever their A game guard is. They're sweeping from the position. They're finding a pass that synergizes with that position. The person turns away, they take the back, and then they finish. So it's a long drill, and this is an opportunity for people to kind of merge all their techniques together and kind of work their A game. Because okay? it's important in training that you work your particular techniques. I feel uh, the structure for a lot of classes is do these three drill, warm up, do three techniques, and then roll. And people don't get the individual independent time to work their games. And obviously you can use drilling time outside of class, but a lot of times people don't have the time to do that. So this is a really good way to warm up, in my opinion. Wow, so clean. If you want to know what all the kids are doing these days with jiu-jitsu, you should watch Jacob, because he's always doing the new cool techniques. Yep, swole guy. And uh, Gannon as well. Gannon's got some slick techniques as well. I'm sure Gannon's gonna do something real spicy as well. He's probably gonna do something from the Anubis guard. See, actually he's not doing Anubis. He probably heard me. Okay, all right, let's see. Let's see what else we got going on right now. Um, we have a classic back take over here. This is nice. Check this out. Ooh, white belt entering modified X. You don't see that too often. Beautiful, super crispy, super clean. Opponent turns in, and he hits a side switch. Wow, beautiful. So the approach for this training is really different. A lot of times when we're just rolling, we're just fighting, and it's it's sometimes it's mindless. This is with purpose, with intention. See how Gan is trying to bail as hard on the position as he can to avoid the points. So we're using all these aspects that are so prominent in competition, but sometimes in the room you forget to play like this. So we're just training people to keep that competition in mind. Obviously, it's good sometimes just to have rounds where you're just rolling and you're innovating, but sometimes you need to play specialized like this and just play in a tournament setting, especially during comp class. We got 40 seconds, guys. We got to start thinking about working if we lost the position. If we're still losing, we can start picking up the pace a little bit. If we lose, we lose. It's okay to lose in here right now. Yes, yes, extend away from here. Extend up, extend away. Create the space and come up. Beautiful. Drag him in. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful, perfect. 17 seconds, guys, let's fight. Nice float, we're just floating on top, we're floating, you're ahead on points right now, so you're floating from here, floating all day, all day, beautiful, beautiful. Stay on top, stay on top. Five seconds, five seconds. Wait, time. Top to bottom, guys. That's a sweep, reset. And remember, he has to stabilize for three seconds, so if you hit the ground, try to come up right away and fight back. Make it a fight for him to get that, okay? 43 seconds, and we gotta extend him away. Get his weight off of you and come up. Recover, recover, beautiful, yes. Try to get a pan grip next time, and that won't happen, because that's a good plan to bail out like that. 30 seconds, guys. Nice, nice, we're fighting. 30, 24 seconds, we're fighting, we're fighting. Two. Reset. I have a question. Yes. Okay. So, 
A lot of times people at gyms will find the partner they're comfortable with and just train with them. How important do you think it is to switch up partners? It's important to switch it up, but at the same time, it's also good to have someone around your level or your size that you're working with every day because that person understands your game like no other and you're going to build off of each other. So it's balanced. You need that person, but you also need to mix it up as well because you do need different looks, you need different body types. I think the most important thing is making sure, especially in comp training, you get your gold star rounds, which are those rounds that you know, those are the rounds that you, on a tired day, like, fuck, I don't want to go with this person. But you need to get a couple of those rounds on a good comp class. I got that weird Galapian handcuff is because you kept holding on and you gave me the time to tie it all the way around. But if you let go, I can't do it. So if you want to grab
job. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Good. Good job, man. Good movement. All right, guys, let's line it up. Okay, guys, thank you for coming to class. Guys, remember just for um, just uh, to follow back on what we're talking about today. It's really important, guys, that you think about your jiu-jitsu. I know that sounds so simple, but so many people they come to class and they just wait for the instructor to spoon feed them the technique of the day, and they just wait to get good. But you have to really ask yourself, what am I having success with? What am I not doing so well? What ties in with this guard system? What are some transitions I can get from here? That's why we do that drilling during class. You guys, doing it during class isn't always enough. There's gonna be some time for us to drill during most of the comp classes, but you should try to find some time on your own, especially before class. Get nice and warm, have the techniques fresh in your head, or even after class, when you realize what you've done well and what you've done wrong, and you know what to work on. Great job, guys. Anything from you, sir? No, we'll say everything. Thank you, man. Bus. This angle is going to be awkward. So I get to my side and I dig my arm all the way inside. Now from here, it's really important. I push his face away so I have room to get my leg over the top. Now that I'm here, I can chill in this position. Sometimes it's going to take some time. There's like, I'll spend 30 seconds just fighting in this position, but that's okay because he's stuck. I push the face away as I pull up towards the crook of the elbow. And eventually it slips until the elbow is pointing at me. And now I have the position to transition. I'm gonna go C clamp, and I'm gonna dig through for the Tarika Plata. And just as a side note too, from this position, if I don't wanna go Tarika Plata, it feels too complex, look, I can Kimura and do my Plata from here. But for the Tarika Plata, look, I keep this like tight to the shoulder blade, I rotate through, and I'm gonna take them all the way over, and I'm gonna come up. And what's gonna happen is, when you start going underhooking on the person, person's arm, they're gonna start disengaging if they're smart. Like if you start doing this to me, I'm gonna bail on the position. I don't wanna be there. And then I'm gonna have to try to redig and hope that you don't get the space. So even if you don't finish, it's a really good way to scare your opponent. Yes. Wait. Thank you. Of course. Hey guys, Andres Panaskis here. I am very excited to announce my fourth instructional series on Jiu Jitsu X. This one is called Lapelapalooza, and it's going to consist of over 60 lapel techniques. So make sure to get it at jujitsu. Oh man! So make sure to get it at jujitsux.com.